it's Friday, December 9th, 2022. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking today on what is a quantum leap. What would that look like? What would one even need to discuss? That never between dream and the reality that I keep waking up in, in New York. Um, I met a man once. I'm pretty sure romance with a brick wall straight behind me who said that if he had a butterfly net, he would have taken me home with him right there. Um, wasn't quite sure what that meant at the time. It's still not 100% clear. However, um, I do see um, on my roster of things that were taped, there was that East New York episode. It's gone. It was not deleted, but it's just gone off of the DVR. Uh, so I don't have access to it anymore, which is weird. Um, but I still have access to the last episode of Yellowstone. Um, the one with Kevin Costner in it. I also saw that Paramount made not only Yellowstone, but the Duttons before Yellowstone with Kevin Costner in it with a one, nine, two, three. I don't know if that's an answer to another show, which I think is 1888. I think that's it. With one of the country stars and her husband. And I, and I again, I don't follow um, I don't really get, they have an award show once a year, but when it comes on, I don't know who any of the participants are. Um, so, and the New York radio doesn't really celebrate that local music as much as I love it when it comes on. Um, so that's interesting. Now on the, um, episodes that's missing, which was the East New York um, S1 E5. They had a birthday cake reference, small one, and then a larger one. And there's a singer that's been on the New York radio. Um, he goes by the stage name 50 Cents. He's got a birthday song, I think. Um, for entertainment purposes, I know somebody knows something that, um, when you birth a star, or when you're a star that's a little larger in a system, and then you bring about, you're a star, and then you bring about, and then it's like in a spiritual sense, um, it uh, has other importance in doesn't talk about it but um so I'm watching the Yellowstone episode and it looks like there was a movie called William Wallace um with Mel Gibson he had his face painted um and he had a scene in that movie called Braveheart where he gets on a horse, his valiant steed, and he goes before all of his men and he does this, 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 this speech before they go into battle and he goes up and down. Um, it's interesting because on this Yellowstone episode, it's not as pronounced. Um, he's not in like Celtic, um, heritage like gear 
he's in, for lack of a better term, I, they use for placement of theater, they use Montana uh, and they use the ranch or ranchers um, to, to stay with conscript of whatever they're doing here in this artistic piece of allegory. Um, as a reference, anyhow. And so he goes up and down, um, but not as um, pronounced. And then if I rewind the scene just a little bit, um, there's this conversation between him being Kevin Costner and the one of the ranch hands, uh, one of the managers of the ranch, about how he has three children, I think, he says. And he talks about who he envies most. Um, I thought that that was interesting. Um, and then today, there's a politician in Washington. Um, I've heard her name very briefly once before. Uh, but her name sounds like the word cinema. Um, and she was a Democrat, and now she just came over to the Independent Party. Now, again, they say things like she gets to keep her vote and her committee times. I, I, this is all such foreign concept to me. Like, I haven't been... In New York, they haven't even presented a party system that even makes any sense whatsoever. Um, I hear they have a Democrat. I hear they have a Republican. What they are for, I have no idea. Um, and then there's something called an independent. So, but they, like, uh, there's no communication. I don't know why. Um, before I got struck and hurt um the republican party called me once asking for a donation to the republican pack that's the first time i had heard from them in like um so many cycles of voting it's ridiculous um and i don't know how they're putting up these and what they're really used for um so there's that. So she's moving to an independent party because I think at somewhere along the line, it was like there was talks of in a quantum reality somewhere else. Like the party system was designed for you join it. It's yours. It's a do or die situation. And that's how the families or the whatever appropriate funds, opportunity, marriages. I mean, at least that's how it worked at some time in history. I don't know what circuit. I don't know what circus. I don't know what circa. I'm not sure. Um, but I've heard that thrown out in wherever a quantum leap from here is. Um, and it doesn't exist in this reality that I wake up to every day. They, they have parties, but I don't know what or how to participate. I mean, she's on these things called committees. I mean, is that a paid for position? Like, how do you get on something like that? Um, so I just found it interesting that she's leaving the Democratic Party. She's joining an independent. Um, there's a similar situation in whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, but I don't know, again, um, I don't know how she chose an independent party, um, but some of the things that they reflect on, um, I'm like, wow, I didn't even like, I mean, she, it's like, she's a part of a different system than I am in, I have to be careful with that word, uh, based on star systems, because it's like. Um, so anyhow, so this is this 
It's Yellowstone and it's Paramount. We'll ride up along Mount Chisholm, push him down to Lewis Creek, and hold him in the meadow overnight. We're lucky we'll get them all in one drive. No way to get a camp up there, so it's empty stomachs and cold backs for a couple days. Yeah. Doesn't make you cry to watch your family ride away. Probably shouldn't have one. Here's a conversation before. I guess not. You know, the first stuff to settle this valley fight was all they knew. So they're coming out with 1923, going back to that Mel Gibson. Like there are some really big celebrity names in my cinematic history of, I didn't see a lot of movies. Not a lot of them resonated or carried forward in memory, but there are some big actors that I can remember and I could visually pick out in a lineup. Um, Harrison Ford having that Star Wars reference, I see, was asked to be in this 1923 that comes before Yellowstone. Um, so he addresses... Um, the Duttons before, which is the ones in 1923. So how they got here, how they kept the land once they did. But today it's, today it seems like it's a liability. Cowards rule the world these days, Rep. With coward rules and coward customs. To succeed today, all you gotta know is how to blame and how to complain. I truly believe it's a survival of the unfittest these days. <laughs> you know, I always thought Beth would calm down as she got older. But every year it seems like she gets wilder. I've never seen anything like it. What it must feel like to be that free. You know, I got one child I miss. One child I pity. One I regret. But that girl. That child I envy. See in the kitchen about four. Yes, sir. I hear um is somebody who's who looks to be around my age, um, who actually arrived to parents who got her on some path that got her to this um political motion thing that they do between the Democrats and the Republic um, and the independents. Uh, but she has a lot more information and as I'm watching, it's very informational, but it only leaves me with more questions because it's not a world I was born to. It doesn't even sound like the words of what I have access to in New York. Well, a significant political shakeup in Washington just days after the Democrats secured an expanded majority in the Senate. Arizona Senator Kristen Sinema announced today that she is leaving the Democratic Party and becoming an independent. The news comes just days after the Democrats won a 51st seat with Raphael Warnock's victory in Georgia. The question now is how 
will this impact the balance of power? Here's ABC's Rena Roy. Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema speaking out Friday shortly after her bombshell announcement that she's leaving the Democratic Party. Today's announcement is a reflection of my values and I think the values of most Arizonans who are tired of a political system that pulls people to the edges and really doesn't reflect who we are as a people. Sinema registering as an independent. Now for some reason, I was thinking about some of the sports today. I'm like, football basketball, and soccer. They all start in the middle and then fight both ways. And that's like their game. And I'm like, hmm. She's rejecting party politics and a broken partisan system in Washington, but will keep her committees and voting record. I really just stay focused on the work that's ahead of us. I think Arizona's can expect me to keep doing the work I've always been doing. She's been a major swing vote for Democrats, a key holdout for President Biden's domestic agenda. Cinema saying nothing about her values or beliefs will change. Cinema's decision won't change the balance of power either, but it will give Democrats less breathing room. Cinema saying she won't caucus with the Republicans, but has declined to explicitly say she will do so with Democrats. We do not see a change in our Democratic majority as it relates to the Senate, uh, so we are very confident. Some Democrats slamming the decision, including Democratic Representative Ruben Gallego, who represents Arizona's 7th District, saying Cinema is putting her own interests ahead of getting things done for Arizonans. It's unclear if Cinema will seek re-election in 2024, but some are speculating Gallego may run to try and replace her. Rena Roy for Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Oh, back in our area for two more. Um, so again, um, I'm just sitting here in this, um, actually, with this flag or veil and I'm confused um, by how the party systems are being used um, since I was registered as whatever I was registered in one of them um, but yet there was no contact from the members in whatever it was that I had to check off a box before. Otherwise I would fail the class that they stuck me in my last year before they shoved me out the door and then forgot I existed in the world. So, um, that seems to be a problem, but like, again, I don't really know how or why this, whatever is whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, but I'm just looking for pieces of clues of like, what am I missing here? Like, where did I go wrong? I'm just, this is really confusing. And how am I going to get from here until whatever? Um, which in practicality is so ridiculous when you go back to a birthing star in cosmic nursery terms is so rare it like and having been a painted portrait and without moving pictures taken into account i'm just confused how the situation went so wrong and it feels like there was nothing done to stop it or fix it. And there's still no answers. Just now I'm getting more rigidity in body mechanics, like, like almost like, like a hex of some sort. It feels like, um, for lack of a better term. It's star one, nine, seven, eight, star eight, three, seven, eight, Nicole Cataruza. It's earth. Solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. 